a tough non-conference matchup late in the regular season has Matia Valley boys basketball traveling to Yorkville. The Foxes are led by 6'11 center Jason Jackstis, a University of Illinois commit who will draw plenty of attention from Jake Nosick and Will Ashford. In the first half, Yorkville with an early advantage and looks to add on as Bryce Salick uses the crossover to get to the rim for the layup. Matia Valley pushes the ball up the floor and Jake Nosick looks for a cutting Will Ashford. The pass gets deflected, but Ashford sticks with it, grabs the ball and puts it in for two, and it's 24-18 as Yorkville leads. Final minutes of the half, Michael Dunn drives to the hoop, but Alex Dannel blocks the shot. Jason Jackstis flies in for the rebound and the putback. The Foxes take a 38-27 lead into halftime. Early in the second half, Matias swings the ball to Nosick, who lets the shot fly from three, and he buries it. Mustangs down 36-30 as Nosick gets into double digits. Next time down the floor, James Parker drives to the middle and scores with an acrobatic up and under layup. Matia is now down by four. Yorkville pushes the ball up as Salik gets the pass from Jackstis and drives in for the tough layup. 13 points on the night for Salik. Matia is out on the break late in the third quarter. Parker finds Will Ashford who wins the race up the floor as the senior slams it home. Mustangs trail by just two, 40-38. Foxes back up by six, and this time, it's Ashford hitting from beyond the arc. Matia trails 46-43 to stay within striking distance. Early in the fourth quarter, Yorkville picks up the loose ball and pushes ahead where Jory Boley gets a tough driving layup. The senior with 15 points on the night as Yorkville leads by three. Under four minutes to play, Mustangs down 55-52. Jake Nosick throws it inside to Ashford and kicks it back out to Nosick, who buries the three. 17 points for Nosick, who ties the game at 55. Foxes look to take the lead back. Kavion Johnson with a great crossover to create space before hitting the floater, making it 57-55 Yorkville. Tied at 57 with under two minutes to play. Michael Dunn drives to the rim and he gets the basket and the foul. Yorkville goes up 60-57 after the clutch basket. Nosick playing on the perimeter takes Jackstis out of the paint, which allows Ashford to go to work inside as he grabs his own miss and puts in the rebound. The senior leads everyone with a game-high 29 points. Under a minute to play, Matia trails 63-59 as the Mustangs look to get the ball to Nosick, but Jackstis makes the steal and drives in for the slam. Matia rushes to get a shot away as Ashford fires from three, and it's off the mark as Jackstis makes the rejection on the rebound attempt from Daniel. Fox is on the run now as Johnson finds Jackstis under the hoop for two more. 15 in the game for the big man as Yorkville pulls away late to win the hard-fought contest 69-61. Um, yeah, our coach, he really wanted to schedule some tougher games, you know, at the end of the season to get us ready for regionals. Uh, you know, Matia, they're a really good team, uh, but, you know, I think we just got hustled them, you know, play harder than them. That's the reason why we came out on top. We've played a lot of bigs like him. We've played probably four, five, six, ten, seven footers. So we're used to that kind of competition, and we know just stay aggressive, don't let anyone intimidate you. So we knew even if he's guarding me or Will, just stay aggressive and continue attack. Having Jason on the team is great. It uh, draws a lot of attention towards him. Backside double team towards him. It allows me to play more freely and opens up a lot of gaps on the other side of the court. Throughout our whole season, we've had a lot of close. Every single game has been close for us. So um, just being able to, like, through the season, our big, like, motto has been able to fix the little things. And here again, we just had another example of just letting the little things cost us a game. And we got to continue to work on it and, and fix it for playoffs. Yeah, so, it, it, you know, it's been a real fun season. Uh, you know, we, we had our ups and downs, you know, early on in the season. Uh, but we come together as a, you know, a good team with a lot of chemistry. Uh, you know, we got a senior night game Friday, so we're super pumped up for that. I'm really pumped up for regionals, too. Especially with all the tough games we've had, we know like there's going to be valleys and there's going to be highs. So we know that going into it, they're going to go on runs, we're going to go on runs, and it's just how you respond. You've got to keep their highs to a certain extent, and then you got to build up on yours. 
and just knowing that every good team has good players that are going to hit shots and just battling back through all of that.